So do you want to introduce yourself to everyone? Hello, my name is Hannah B. And I am the host and producer of Monday Motivation with Hannah B. All about spreading positive vibes and motivating others. Each week I bring on a guest that's typically in the broadcasting industry or a musician just, just to talk about life and mm -hmm. uh, mental health and just things that are going on in people's lives that I think people could have some extra support from Hannah B and my co-host as well. I currently work at the Illinois Media School. In addition to working at the Illinois Media School, I work in promotions at 101 WKQX and 94.7 WLS. So that's a little bit about me. Hmm. That's super cool. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. The first question is, how did you get into the radio business? So that is such a great question. It was the fall of 2018, I believe. Mm -hmm. And I was watching the Country Music Awards. Mm -hmm. And I just was sitting on my couch and I'm like, mom, it would be so cool if I worked for a radio station. And so that moment, I immediately, I just went on LinkedIn and then I reached out to everyone that worked at US 99. Mm -hmm. And um, I happened to get the, the gig for promotions and this was pre COVID. And so when I started working there, I'm like, oh my goodness, I love this. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. And just working the events and seeing the on-air personalities behind the mic. I'm like, oh my goodness, like that's exactly what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And that's how I got my foot in the door. And my ultimate goal is on air, but got to work your way towards to, to it. Yeah, that's super cool. Thank you. You're welcome. What made you decide uh, you wanted to like be in radio? So I've always had a super positive, upbeat, outgoing personality. Mm -hmm. And my first two years of college, I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do. I thought I wanted to be a teacher, but I was like, eh, I don't think I want to be a teacher. I think I want to, you know, do something where I can use more of my personality. And when I came across radio, it's just something that's a passion of mine and something that I feel like just fits my personality as a whole. Yeah, that's super cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you go to community college to get an education in radio? And if so, do you recommend going to college? So I went to Harper Community College for two years. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I transferred to Elmhurst College, which is a four-year university. Mm -hmm. And I think that college is an amazing thing, but obviously school is not for everyone and yeah. um, you have to do what's best for you. There's trade schools out there. I mean, I work mm -hmm. at a media school, which is an eight month program. Mm -hmm. um, but for me in college, I had the opportunity to play softball. And, you know, I just, for me personally, I wanted that for your education, mm -hmm. but it's not for everyone. So it's yeah. really up to you and what you decide as a person. That's good. I like that. Thank you. You're welcome. Is interning important? Definitely. I think interning is one of the things that led me to where I am today. Mm -hmm. I My first internship was with the Chicago Bandits. It's a professional mm. softball team. That's and cool. from there, I got to work in the ESPN truck. And that internship, with having that on my resume, that's what got me into US 99 and 104.3 at Intercom, which is now Odyssey. Yeah. Um, and then my job at Odyssey got me into my podcast and the more you intern and the, the more experience you gain mm -hmm. and can kind of feel like what you like about the job and what you would like to do differently about your next job. That's super cool. Thank you. So are you in radio yourself or podcasting or in podcasting? And I own like two internet radio stations. So yeah, that's Awesome. Mm -hmm. That's super. What kind of stations are they? The format. One is hot AC and then the other one is CHO. That's, so both that's different awesome. Format. Thank Good you. for you. Thanks. <laughs> was it like looking for Odyssey? Was that like? I absolutely. Uh, so that was, I worked there pre-COVID, but it was honestly the best. It was amazing. I loved it. It was like the best experience I've ever had. And the people were amazing. They are just, they're super supportive. I still talk to them weekly mm -hmm. and um, they've just been a super big support system of me. And it was, it was really hard when COVID happened. And then unfortunately, like I was like, we, a lot of us were let go. A lot of people on radio mm -hmm. were let go and like, yeah. that was my life. So it was so different, but I'm really grateful for the connections that I've made there and the friendships and 
I learned so much from, you know, just all the different events to working in the office and mm-hmm. just, I'm, I'm very thankful for the support that I've received from all my coworkers there. That's good. I like it. It was a great experience. So that's good <laughs> for anyone who wants to get a job in the radio business. What do you recommend they should do? So I would say definitely make those connections and network, network, network. It's networking is huge. I've gone to a few different women in radio conferences. I just went to morning show boot camp. Hmm. I think that it's important that you get yourself out there and you attend those conferences and those seminars and connect with industry professionals on social media, whether it's LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever it is, send that quick message, introduce yourself. And because that one person could know another person and that one person could know someone that's hiring. Yeah. In this industry, it's all about, you know, who you know, what Mm -hmm. you know, and getting your foot in the door. So definitely making those connections is what's key. Yeah, that's good. I, so like it. I know that's something that I've been doing the past year is just making those connections by attending all these different conferences. So super cool. What is Morning Show Boot Camp and how was that? So Morning Show Boot Camp was a it was a two day. It was basically like a conference and mm-hmm. there were different seminars and different panels that you can attend. And there were industry professionals that would guest speak. Mm-hmm. And it was just the best two days of my life. Everyone, people flew in all across the US. It was here in Chicago at the Swiss Hotel. And it was like, there was a woman's panel. There was a talent on the rise panel. And Mm. it was in the conference room. And I was able to jot down some notes and meet a lot of great people, ask questions. The Swiss Hotel was beautiful. So at Mm. at the end of each conference, we all went to the Palm, which was like a little dining bar area. And that's where a lot of the networking also happened. That's so cool. if you ever get the chance to go, I would definitely recommend it. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds super fun. So yeah. you're out in Arizona, correct? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I'm out here in Chicago, but I know that each year the morning show boot camp is in a different state. Okay. So something That's to cool. look into. Okay. Yeah. That sounds super cool and fun. Yeah. It was a yeah. blast. That's good. That's good that you enjoyed it and all of that. Yeah, it was, it was definitely, I didn't want it to end, especially because you meet all these people and then everyone mm-hmm. flew home and yeah. like, no, don't leave. But mm-hmm. you know, there's all these different seminars to definitely look forward to. Yeah, that's good. What position do you recommend in starting off in radio? So I would say there's a lot of different routes you can go with that. For me, Mm -hmm. I'm in promotions and that's kind of taught me the behind the scenes and engaging with the listeners. So promotions is a great position to start off with, but also board operating. Mm -hmm. That's something that I'm still wanting to do, especially because if you want to be behind the, you know, behind the mic and, Mm -hmm. you know, be an on-air personality, you want to know everything about the board. So I would honestly say the two big positions would either be promotions because that's a great way to network and at least your foot is in the door Mm -hmm. and you can meet a lot of great people and board hopping is you know similar to that but unfortunately in radio right now with the pandemic and everything it's still Mm -hmm. on a hold of freeze of hiring but really wherever you can get your foot in the door like take advantage of it and do whatever you can and always ask for more like Mm -hmm. hey do you have this hey can I do that yeah. And always say yes. You know, obviously you want to try and balance it out. So you're not like doing like so many things at once, but it's important, you know, to give yourself the ability to try different things. Mm-hmm. That's good. I like that. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Was it like working for promotions? Was that like? It's honestly been a great experience. I actually just had the opportunity to work the Fall Out Boy Green Day and Weezer oh, concert. Wow. So that was a great time and just engaging with listeners and kind of learning more about the contests and giveaways. Mm-hmm. That's important to know, especially when working in radio. And if you eventually want to be on air, it's important that you know the giveaways and all the promotions that they have. Mm -hmm. But it's been a great experience. Like I said, with Odyssey, I worked there from June of 2018 to March of 2018. And then, you know, I worked, I just started here at Cumulus. So it's been a great, 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 great experience. And I'm super thankful for it. That's good. Super awesome. That's good. Thank you so much. You're You're so supportive. Yeah. (laughs) Thank you. What do you love about working in radio? What do you love about that? That's another great question. There's just something about being behind a mic that just makes me so happy. And there's a Mm -hmm. 
a special spark to it but the most important thing is just engaging with that one other person because when you're on air you really want to pretend like you're talking to one person and I Mm -hmm. think that what I love about it is you know making that positive impact on someone's day and being able to be authentically myself on the air and just sharing my personality with a bunch of other people, you know, even if I don't know them, but I hope that, you know, when I am on the air someday that I'm able to brighten that one person's day that's driving to work. But currently I just love, there's something about radio, you know, I am a very, Mm -hmm. I'm very much so a people person. Mm -hmm. So at promotional events, it's, it's just what I love to do. Yeah. (laughs) I like that. (laughs) So it's a great industry to be in. And I think Mm -hmm. if you have the heart, you can definitely, definitely do it. Yeah, that's good. Do you want to say a little bit information about your podcast? Sure. So Monday Motivation with Hannah B is, you know, all about motivating others and spreading positivity. And I've had a lot of great industry professionals on my podcast. I have 37 episodes out. Oh, wow. That's awesome. And, thank you. They You're are welcome. available on iHeartRadio, Spotify, Odyssey, and QuadPod Network. Mm-hmm. So I do a lot of things to brand myself and brand nothing but positive vibes. So I partnered up with families in need that, you know, could use those extra positive vibes. Mm-hmm. Um, for example, I partnered up with a family, her little girl named Addison. She has a rare disease called neurofibromatosis. Mm. And I made t-shirts with my logo and her logo and 10% of the merchandise went to the family. And then I hosted wow. an event at a restaurant mm-hmm. and it was all Hannah B merchandise and 10% of everyone's meal went there. And then next month oh. I'm actually emceeing the neuro neurofibromatosis walk. So there's a lot of different things that I've really branded my podcast and just all about spreading positivity. Super cool. I like that. Thank you. You're welcome. One last question. Well, sure. can that be one? follow you and check you out yes so i am on instagram twitter and tiktok at hannah b underscore on air and my facebook page is monday motivation with hannah b